today we are gathered here at an opening plenary in Berlin to unite Europe, to unite the European Green Building Movement in the same place where Europe itself came together. I'm very excited about seeing the first launch of Green Building Europe in Berlin to create a thought leadership platform for our members, our partners, our movement's leaders to participate in the larger conversation of how to make this planet a better place for all. I find the Green Bill to be an excellent event and possibility for us to exchange and share ideas as well as how do we crack the code for the green great business case. It's a holistic event, again, connecting people to the most important ideas on the planet. And Green Build has always done that, and it's continuing to do it here in Berlin and Europe. I think really a difference between Green Build and usual events, uh, which tend to be more technical, this is much more about inspiration. This conference is a real milestone in being able to move forward in ways that will bring together many countries, Green Build brings together people who are advancing green building and in order to do that we have to be revolutionary, we have to be troublemakers. Just a once in a year opportunity to meet and engage and find out about what motivates people, what gets people excited. To share this kind of knowledge uh, together means that we are fasting up the process uh, and the sustainability will come sooner. This is where the exchange happens and so this is where everybody learns to be better and everybody learns what challenges are present globally. I think that we learn a lot and we are like um, knowing a little bit more what's happening in the market and how the things are going to be pushed from our side from the investment perspective. 1972 was a wake-up call, a reminder that the planet did not hold an endless bounty of resources and we realized it would take a whole new movement to build a better future. I grew up um, with food shortages because, as you know, communism collapsed and we received food aid back there in Moscow. The crazy part is that today we already produce 30% of the world's food that is either lost or wasted. It's been grown to feed the garbage. And at the same time, we have almost a billion people on this planet right now who are starving. I think it's an immense power and everybody can really enrich themselves attending Green Bill. This really gives me a year worth of sustainability uh, energy. I think it shows the optimism and the diversity of what's out there all coming together and I think that's necessary. The European green building market has shown unwavering growth with more than 5,600 projects participating in LEED across Europe. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize and celebrate some extraordinary leaders here in the room with us today the leading service providers in the region. I'm pleased to announce that Savona, Italy, has become the first LEED certified city in Europe. Today, it's our pleasure to recognize three trailblazers. They are challenging the status quo. It's a big honor to, to receive this award. It's a possibility to discuss uh, both differences, similarities between the countries, the dif different practices and so on. For us it's, it's really important uh, to receive recognition for, for everything we've been doing to, to promote green building. I was in Green Build Boston and I had a big carbon footprint flying over to Boston, so it'd be great to have more green builds in Europe and keep my carbon footprint a little bit lower. We really like that UBCI and USGBC has stepped in in the Europe, actually, first time in this way. I really do hope that this will get larger. Greenbuild is not a one-time event. Greenbuild is a platform and a conference that will rotate throughout Europe. And I hope it's going to grow into this big event where a lot of industry professionals, manufacturers, uh, developers are coming together to discuss these issues. It brings you to a higher level. From the earth to the moon. 
human beings are often moved by what we admire from afar. While they may not be the size of the moon, there are little miracles being built around us every day. Thank you all for being here, for sharing your ideas, and for sharing the future with us.